Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner. And in this video, I'm going to go over the cost and ROI over a GPU versus ASICs versus FPGA mining. So let's check this out. Okay, so before I begin, I do want to mention that this video is just a comparison and this is assuming that the price and difficulty stays all the same. But let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so I do have to mention that today is September 11th, 2018, and it's about 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And these, this is the price as of this time in this date. The average cost here where I live in the USA is about 10 cents per kilowatt hours. Okay, so first I do want to mention uh, this is assuming that you're purchasing your hardware for the cheapest price possible at the market as of today. So I did look at like Craigslist, eBay, but for the ASICs, I actually went to their web main website because you do want to buy these uh, devices new. Now the FPGAs, these are sold out, but uh, I got this price from when they were being sold. But I did break all of this down in a PowerPoint, so it's a lot easier to read. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the PowerPoint. Okay, so if you didn't want to go ahead and start with GPUs, uh, let's start with the 1070 rig. Now these are typically the most popular, and if you have six of them, and I did find them on Craigslist for about 250 each, so that did come out to be about $2,700, and plus all the miscellaneous uh, hardware, uh, for example, power supply, motherboard, risers. I did maybe equal $500, so it's going to cost about $2,000 to make a 1070 6 GPU rig. Okay, so just be aware these are all just estimates, and uh, this is the cheapest I could find. Now, you may be able to find uh, hardware for a lot cheaper, but let's go ahead and just use these numbers. That being said, this is what my typical stats are for Ethash on my 1070 rig. Um, so if I go ahead and pull the what to mine. Um, now basically I took all the numbers from what to mine and I basically took the best possible payouts. Uh, so let's go back to my PowerPoint. For the 1076 GPU, let's say it costs about $2,000 to build and you're basically ROI in about 8.3 uh, years if everything stays current, the price and the difficulty. Now for 1080 Ti's, a 6 GPU rig, it'll cost maybe about $3,700 and you're going to ROI about 6 years. I want to go to AMD rigs. Now these are a little bit more popular because they're cheaper compared to the 1070's. But it'll cost maybe about $1,400 for a 6 uh, 580 rig. Now your ROI may be about 3.17 years. And for Vega rigs, if you have Vega 64s, uh, a full six car rig maybe will cost $2,600. So your ROI may be around 1.97 years. So the ROIs for AMD cards are a little bit better uh, just because they are cheaper initial cost. All right, so now for the ASICs, basically I just went to this website, asicminervalue.com and i just used today's prices and like i mentioned i used 10 cents on the bottom for my electricity cost that's the average around this area so i do want to mention when it came to the roi on these asics basically if you just went ahead and clicked on each miner uh, it will give you the income the profit right here and if you scroll down it'll give you the cost and the roi in the months so basically i just transferred all this to myself um, and I basically clicked on each one that I used and I used the best ones for each algo. So if I pulled back up my PowerPoint, uh, let's just go over the best ones. So for Equihash, mining Zcash, pretty much. The ASIC miner Xeon 180K. Now this costs about $19,900, but you'll ROA about 6.7 months. Now the InnoSilicon A9 Z Master, this costs about $4,000 and your ROI are about 5.5 months. But just be aware, this is assuming if you have the devices today. Um, and like I mentioned, if the difficulty and price stay current. Uh, if you wanna to go to Ethash, so mining Ethereum. Uh, now it's Silicon that came out with their new miner, the A10F Master. 
and that costs about $5,689. So your ROI may be around 34.7 months. And for Bitmain, the E3, uh, that costs about $1,469 and your ROI around 43.8 months. All right, now for SHA-256, basically mining BTC. Now go ahead and pause the videos uh, if you want to go ahead and look at these a little bit more details. But I'm just going to go ahead and go over the main ones. So the ASIC Miner 8 Nano Pro, this will cost about $11,600 and your ROI may be around 33.6 months. And of course the ASIC 8 Nano Compact, it's basically half size of this one, costs about $4,500 and that will ROI maybe in about 24.7 months and if you do have still the Bitmain and Miner S9 uh, that costs about $500 today so you'll maybe ROI in 39.1 months now for Blake 256 uh, basically uh, pick red there's this one the Pangolin what's Miner DCR and most people will have the you know, Silicon D9 and this, when it came out, you were pretty much ROing pretty quickly, but difficulty skyrocketed. And it's pretty much going to happen with the uh, Equihash mining. Now for Dash mining, X11. Now basically, you'll the InnoSilicon came out with the A5 Dash Mash there, which you are maybe ROI in 18.8 months, but if you still have the Bitmain and Miner D3, you're losing money, so you're basically never going to ROI. Now for Psy, Psy mining, it's pretty much not worth it because it looks like you're not going to ROI. And for Kryptonite, now these are still the Kryptonite that didn't fork over. So this is like Sumo, KRB, ETN. Now InnoSilicon came out with the A8 Crypto Master. And that one you'll ROI maybe 36.2 months. And then if you ha still have the Bitmain X3, you should have ROI maybe in 30.6 months. And then last but not least, uh, script mining, so LTC. You know, Silicon came out with the A6 LTC Master. Now this one cost about $3,000, but it looks like ROI is not possible for the script mining, unless of course, LTC goes up in value. And it's funny because you know, Silicon came out with the A4. It's basically the A6, as you can see right here, but they just put two on. It's kind of stupid, but pretty much it's just two of these and they call it the A6. And then of course, if you still have the Bitmain A minor L3 plus, you're pretty much losing money every day if you pay for electricity. And then of course, FPGA mining. As of today, if you do have an FPGA, you will more than likely have the Zlinx VCU1525. And this costs basically around $4,000. And like I mentioned, to get all the other parts, maybe $500. Your ROI basically in about 2.33 years. Um, now new FPGAs are coming out. Uh, they didn't mention it should come out in quarter four. And if you did check out the Squirrel website, as you can see right here, uh, this is basically what uh, the new FPGA is. Now, they did give you the stats right here, but I'm not going to go ahead and put in this chart because, like I mentioned, this has not came out and we have no idea if this even works. Alright, so thanks for checking out my comparison video. Now, I do want to mention I'm going to go ahead and update this video anytime a new miner comes out or if something changes drastically. That being said, uh, if you do get into mining for fun or if you're trying to support the network, just be aware you may never break even. Uh, but of course, if you're already mining, if you already have the equipment and if your electricity is cheap and if you're still making a profit, uh, it doesn't, you know, still hurt to continue mining. That being said, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Promise you'll catch me.